You've worked on other model airplanes for a while. Now that you are back to the 777, you want to look at the ICAS and secondary engine displays. You will use the display select panel and other flight deck controls and see how the indications change on the displays. First, you will look at the ICAS display. The engines are at idle. You will look at the ICAST display and identify the controls that change the display. Where do the engine parameters show on the display? This area shows N1 and EGT parameters. Now increase N1 to 50%. Look at the changes on the display. To see the name of each indication, select the information icon. Where is the gear position indication? Select the display area where the gear position indication shows. The display shows the normal landing gear indication. There is one indication for the status of all landing gear. When any one landing gear is not in the normal configuration, this indication shows. Where is the flap position indication? Move the flap lever to up and monitor the display. Flap position indication goes away 10 seconds after the flap lever, flaps and slats are in the up position. Which of these indications shows when there is a flap position failure? No. This is what you see when you arm the alternate mode. Okay see separate left and right indications for the flaps and slats. The alternate indication shows when you arm the alternate mode. Where do the pressurization indications show? Select a display area. Select this area for the pressurization indications. <laughs> Pressurization indications show when either of the outflow valves are set to manual on the bleed air pressurization panel. Note that both outflow valves are set to manual. Open the aft outflow valve so the airplane cannot pressurize and monitor the display area. Good. The pressurization indications show when either of the outflow valves are set to manual on the bleed air pressurization panel, when you show an air synoptic, or if there is a non-normal condition. It is unusual to see a non-normal pressurization indication on the ground. Other indications show on the ICAST display, including ICAST messages. Drag the correct label to each area. Click and drag the highlighted label to the indicated box.
and drag the highlighted label. Excellent. You can use the information icon to see the difference between a cluttered iCast display and a decluttered iCast display. iCast messages help you isolate faults. Look at these messages on this iCast display. Then you will identify properties of messages and use the cancel recall switch. First, identify each message type. Drag an ICAST message over the correct message type box. identified each type of message. Next, you will identify the importance of each message. Select the highest priority message that shows in the ICAST message field. Now finish. Select each message in order of its importance. message identifies an incoming communication message. Memo messages have the lowest priority of all messages. They help you to remember the current state of conditions that you manually selected. You have identified the message types and their priorities. Now identify the other flight deck indications that go with these messages. Which type of message shows when you hear this indication? There are no other oral or visual indications with a memo message. Try again. There are no other oral or visual indications with a low communication message. Try again. Correct. You hear the high-low chime when a medium communication message shows. The master warning lights show with a warning oral. Select three message types that have no other indications. Hear the high-low chime when a medium communication message shows. Try again. Correct. Since these message types do not require immediate crew attention, there are no other flight deck indications. Which type of message shows now? The master caution lights show with a caution oral. You identified several properties of the messages. Next, you will use the cancel recall switch to display different pages of messages. You need to make sure these messages from the logbook show on the iCast message field. Where is the control you use to look at all the messages?
you use the same panel to select display location. Show the message for EFAS control panel right. You use this switch to select display location. Try again. You use this switch to select other types of displays. Try again. The cancel recall switch shows the next ICAST message page. Here is the first logbook entry. Now show the transponder left message. Look at another page. Good. Both messages show. When you use the cancel recall switch, certain message types stay on the display. Which message types are they? No. You can page through caution messages. No, you can page through advisory messages. You've touched this before. Make another selection. No, you can page through advisory messages. No, you can page through caution messages. Correct. These messages stay on the display when you use the cancel recall switch. Now show the first page of messages again. Show the first page of messages. the first page. You have seen all the crew alert messages now. You identified the message types, message priorities, and recognized other flight deck effects that occur with these messages. Also, you use the cancel recall switch to page through the caution and advisory messages. Next, you will look at the secondary engine display on the lower center DU. Show the secondary engine display in its normal location. Where is the control panel that selects the correct display? Use the display select panel. Where did the secondary engine display show when the airplane got power? Show the secondary engine display. These are the indications that show on this display. Drag the correct label to each box. Select and drag the highlighted label. Great. You saw what type of indications show on the secondary engine display. Under normal conditions, the ICAST display and the secondary engine display show in these locations. If the upper center DU fails, which display shows on the lower center DU? Select and drag that display to the correct location. The ICAST display only shows... That's correct. 
The compacted engine display shows both primary and secondary indications. Which indications have a different format? The primary indications in this area are the same for both the ICAST display and the compacted engine display. The secondary engine parameters now show as digital readouts. N1 and EGT do not show differently on the compacted engine display. Other data can show on the compacted engine display. Select other data that can show now. This switch is not active in the limited mode. Try again. This will show the ICAST display. Instead, show more data on the compacted engine display. You can show pressurization indications and more fuel data when only one DU is available. Select the same switches you use to show the synoptic formats. that the same pressurization indications showed on the ICAST display when you used the pressurization panel. What other engine format can show in the limited mode? Show it next.